What's going on you guys? The Keith Carnes here bringing you a new review. This is going to be my first review in a long time, so let's get in with it. We are reviewing the official um, gaming headset, gaming headphones, whichever you prefer to call them. I say headphones because they are headphones, and these are very much universal. What that means is that these can be used for a, a variety of different devices. These single headset, the single headset, these guys can be used on obviously a PS3 and a PS4, a PlayStation Vita, a PlayStation, I mean a PSP, PlayStation Portable, I believe you have to have the phone jack which these come with which is awesome, um, a PC or a Mac, and also uh, an iPod and a cell phone. So the only thing I don't know, I haven't tested these, but I'm pretty sure they probably won't work, is on an Xbox for obvious reasons. And the obvious reasons is that logo right there. This is a this is the competitor with Xbox, so I don't expect them to. Um, I don't expect them to make it work with that, but it might. I don't know. I mean, they're so universal. They probably do. I don't know. Um, so this is how they look on your head. As you can see, mine are currently on because I was listening to music before I decided to go ahead and turn this on and do a review on these. I've had these for about, as of this recording, I would say three, four days. I'm not sure. It's been a few days since I've picked these up. Um, you can actually, these are actually really, really reasonable uh, headphones. You can get these for about $99.99, $100. Um, Amazon usually has them on sale for $80. So if you're going to go buy them, I suggest you uh, match price or something like that or just simply order them from Amazon. It's definitely worth getting. You know, I mean, who doesn't want to save money, right? Who doesn't want to save 20 bucks? But this is what they look like. Um, here you have all your, uh, wow, it's pretty dark, huh? You have all your stuff here anyway. This is the uh, on and off button. One, uh, I think you can choose to have it in one or both. There's a one and a two. I'm not 100% sure what that means. I always just put it on two and it works fine. Um, there's where you plug it in. It's kind of weird with the plug. The charger is actually a different um, charger than, than the controller chargers for the PS3. So keep in mind that you're going to have these are, it comes with its own special charger cable, which is kind of weird, very un, unusual for Sony. And of course, you have the little circle here for your, um, what is that called? Uh, the thing that you plug in and then you would plug into your phone. So basically like a phone jack, I don't know. But that's where you would do it for corded devices that you can't do it for wirelessly. That's where that plugs in. Um, these are pretty cool. They fold, boom. They fold just like that. They come in a case, they come with a... Okay, I'm sorry, I thought my I thought my stuff stopped recording because the screen went black for a second. I'm sorry about that. So anyway, continuing as I was saying, um, they fold up nicely. They come with a little uh, a little tra travel uh, carrying sleeve so you can put these in the sleeve and carry them. That's really cool of Sony. It comes with this little USB chip thing that you have to plug into your PS3, PS4 controller, I mean not controller, uh, PS4, the PS3, or your uh, PC or Mac um, that gives it the wireless capability. Um, I was actually listening to Tech Nine. I know, you know, a white boy listening to rap, but I actually am a huge fan of rap music. I love it, and these headphones do pretty decent for what they are. They're a hundred dollar headphones, so you can't expect everything out of them. They come with a nice thick uh, blue headline there. Very, very comfortable. Uh, I wouldn't say that these are very, very comfortable. Um, but they definitely aren't the worst I've had. I've had other uh, headsets that have really killed my head. Um, these are comfortable, but they're not the most comfortable I've had. So then it's kind of weird on these two because you have all the options on this ear cuff. So up here at the top, you have VSS, which stands for Virtual Surround Sound. Uh, you can choose to uh, enable or disable that. Why anybody would disable that is kind of beyond me. Um, but Virtual surround sound only works on the PS3 and the PS4, so you won't get it on the uh, computer. So if you want to watch a movie, watch a Blu-ray or something on on your PS3 or even a uh, DVD because or a PS4 if you have one because you'll get the surround sound sound. I've heard some commercials and stuff on YouTube. I haven't watched a movie yet. I am in a pop in Star Wars soon to test it out, so I can't review that quality. But I've seen some commercials and that surround sound is off the shit off the chain for a hundred dollar headset 
Um, then you have, of course, your volume control of how loud you want the speakers to be in your ears. Of course, you don't want to put these on 100% while listening to heavy metal or rap music with heavy bass because you'll blow the speakers. You have your, you have your mute button here at the bottom to mute yourself while you're in game chat, which I've done plenty of time in Grand Theft Auto V. And then, of course, in the front you have sound and chat. This is a really, really cool feature, but at the same time as it's cool to have that option, it's kind of pointless because you're always going to want your chat to be higher than your sound, but then I guess it isn't kind of pointless because sometimes he these headphones have a problem with the game being louder than the people you're talking to, so you can adjust that at your being. So erase that stupid shit that I just said that being pointless. Um, also, inside here, I don't know if you can really see that, but these go deep into there. That's what, that's what he said. But it goes deep into here, and it's actually so that this part of your ear can sit in there pretty comfortably. Now, unfortunately, um, I do wear these properly, obviously, but my ears do start to hurt after a long time, after a while. Um, the longest session I've had with these this, uh, thus far within these last few days, I think I played with my friend. I want to say maybe five hours of Grand Theft Auto V, and these were really, I was just really ready to take these off. Um, so they're not they're not great for like extreme endurances, but a lot of people don't play video games. Even I don't play video games for five hours straight. I just was really enjoying my headset, and I really wanted to keep playing GTA. So that was a rare occurrence. But if you're looking for like a marathon, try to find something a little more comfortable than these headsets. However, so this head headphones, if you're on a budget, highly highly recommend these. They're definitely worth the money. Um, they're definitely uh, reasonable. And I think Sony did a really good job, so I'm happy to have a new gaming headset. My Turtle Beaches uh, went tits up on me a while back, so I have so I finally was able to get these, and I'm very, very happy with these being the replacement. Um, so yeah, that's about it. So uh, anyway, this is Keith Carnes. I hope you enjoyed the review. From a 1 being horrible to a 5 being great, I would definitely give these a 5 out of 5 because they're definitely a great value for the money. They have great sound capability and the fact that they're universal and they can be used on almost anything is is brilliant and I and I uh, applaud Sony for that so these definitely get a perfect rating from me I highly recommend these and I will see you guys in the next thank you so much for viewing thank you to all my subscribers I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next thanks again for watching